Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on the live training session with UI5 flexible programming model with me Anubhav. In our last episode we learned about the concept of working with our actions and also adding the side effect feature to the data actions in, in the application which we built using Fury Elements. We are developing here the flexible UI5 programming model application with the help of the latest features on OData v4. In continuation to this now we are going to proceed and build our object page for OData v4 application. So let's get started. We switch over back to our development space in business application studio. By far in the application we have configured the object page and we have also added the list report. We've added the data actions on the object page and now it's time to fill our object page with the multiple sections. So I will be adding two tabs. One will be for the field groups and the second one will be for the line item details. So let's switch over back to the app and make sure that my app is running over here. You can see it's already running. We can right click now and show the page map. So with the help of page map without writing much code in a low code, no code environment, you will be able to integrate and add more content to your pages. So the page map is a very helpful tool in the graphical modeling of our application with Fury Elements. Let's edit the object page. And now we're going to start adding some content to this object page. So under the section of the object page, we are going to add a new section called group section. Let's name it as travel. We can additionally also immediately create the i 18 and text. Click add to add our group section. A group section is basically used to combine multiple child sections. So once the group is added, we are going to expand the group now. And under the subsection area, we will add the form sections. So let's add subsection. So I will be adding four form sections, travel for basic travel data like the, the shipping uh, company, the passenger detail, the travel ID and the status. Then we add another subsection again as a form section where we will add prices detail. Together with that I am also transforming on adding immediately the labels for the form section. So click on add. The next section we will add is dates. Again a form section for dates. Once again click the quick fix to add the i18 and text. And finally we will add sustainability. For carbon footprint or carbon emission for our travel request. So ability. Let's add there. Apply. So we've added now four subsections which are forms, part of the forms. Let's go back and look at the UI, how the, the, the UI look like at this point. So you can see we have got a travel tab with the travel dates, prices and sustainability subsections. Very nice. In the travel now we are going to expand our form to add the fields. So let's add basic fields and we will be adding fields like uh, related to the travel request. So basic fields which we would need in the travel request which includes perhaps the travel ID, the, um, the shipper, the agency from where the booking is done, the customer and the status code. So let's add here travel ID. We will then choose agency. We add also the customer ID. And also the status, status code. So all the four fields we have selected now and click on add. The moment we add the live loader of our Fury application is automatically update and this demonstrate the screen to us. 
on the user interface. So let's go back and yes, you can see travel ID, agency, customer ID and travel status code has been added. Similarly, we will repeat the process to also add the next section for price, expand the form for the price and add the basic fields for the price. So we will add booking fees and we will also add the total travel cost which is total price. That's a cost of my travel request. Then we will go to the dates section add the begin date and end date. So let's come back to dates, add fields, basic fields, begin date and end date. Include them as well. And finally for the sustainability we will add the properties related to the carbon footprint which are also part of my data model. So once again, let's add basic fields. We can say green. So we can say go green, which is a checkbox. The green fees and the trees planted. For the sustainability matrix, click on add button. And now our form element is complete. So hopefully when we go back to our user interface or user experience, we will able to see all the relevant properties. So let's go back and now you can see you've got all the values over here on the screen and since the draft entity is already enabled, we will get here the edit feature to edit the data right away quite easily. Nice. So I can go green. You see it's updating the draft. This is all the cap functionality. By the way, if you are new to application programming model cap, you can subscribe our training on SAP BTP cap so that you can also understand how did we build the backend for this kind of an application. Makes sense. Now the next step will be we will add a table section to our object page. So let's switch over back. We have added earlier a group section. Let's add a next section as a table section. And now we are going to provide a name called itinerary. So my itinerary let's add the table and here we are going to use our association to show all the bookings so one travel request can have multiple bookings suppose I plan a vacation to southern part of India so I can start my journey from Delhi from Delhi I take a flight to Mumbai from Mumbai, I go to Goa. From Goa, I go to Bangalore. From Bangalore, I come back to Delhi. So entire travel request of a travel to Southern India includes four different flight bookings. So that's where we can have multiple line items over there. Once we add the table section, we will be defining uh, our columns, which we would like to add as part of this table. So let's expand my itinerary. I have got my table and we got column section. So let's add here the busy columns. So we will first add the URL of the airline picture, which is coming from an association. Then next property I will add is the booking ID. Next property I will add is customer ID from the customer association. Then we will book the airline ID from the carrier association. We will choose the connection ID. We will choose the flight date and flight price along with we will choose the booking status code. And now we have selected everything to add these as part of my columns. Fantastic. Cool. So what you will see at the end will be displaying a beautiful table. But hey, there is a small change which we need to do. The airline picture control which we have added over there, we need to uh, just make sure that it is displayed as a picture. Yeah. So that we, we can make sure with the help of the control. So if you can come back, you can see airline picture URL. 
You can also click here this button to switch over to the source code which was generated by system. Basically, it created the annotation and you can see here is the annotation which was created. So manually also as a developer, you may want to modify these UI annotations. You would be able to do them or change the order of any of these columns. I'm going to switch over back. And we are just going to restart my UI. Let's select a record. And yes, voila, there you go. Beautiful guys, look at that for the booking. You can now see the different airline icons along with the booking ID, customer ID, yes, airline ID, connection ID, flight date, all of these properties. And the best part I love about it is the editing feature is available even for the line item. Cool. So that is how we can develop my object page using the OData version 4. Remember, we are using in this entire series of videos, these are live. Uh, live videos on YouTube. We are learning about the OData v4. Having said that, this comes to the end of our today's episode. I will share the complete source code with all of you for the annotation file. Please check the description of this video for the same. For more interesting videos like this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified very first time when we when we publish a new video regarding this topic. Again, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much. Catch you up in the next class. Goodbye.